So this is a railgun sniper. Takes out pretty much anything on the map, including armored vehicles. You can damage pretty much pretty much everything. And infantry has got no chance if you hit them with this. It is kind of futuristic, but also kind of cool, I've been finding. It's very difficult to use, actually. A lot of people think it's a lock-on with those red markers that kind of appear in the middle of the screen. But it actually charges up. So you get a single shot with this massive reload animation. It charges up for a second and a half, two seconds, and then the shot fires. But you've got no control of that charge, so you literally click the mouse button, it charges, and then it fires. So you've got to keep your aim exactly on somebody to be able to take them out. It might look a little bit OP from this video, but... Uh, Things do tend to look a little bit OP the way I, you know, edit things. So, it's actually, I think most people, especially on console, where you've actually got to keep your aim tracked onto somebody, I think most people are probably going to struggle to get one kill without without getting killed by infantry. Because on 64 players, it makes a pretty loud noise, and people do tend to run straight for you as soon as you fired your first shot. But it is very satisfying. This is, this is how, and like... Is how an anti-tank rifle should feel. How this feels. Some people have been saying they don't like that it's futuristic, but I kind of like it because these maps are all designed sort of in like 2050 or, or around that time, and they're doing like all the prototypes for the Titans and stuff that are in Battlefield 2142 in these factories in the hills. And you'll see in uh, in Operation Whiteout, the map I'll show at the end, that uh, they, they've got some in there as well, like all the blueprints, and there's a hover tank. It's some really cool stuff, but they're all prototype things. They're nowhere near as good as the stuff that's in 2142, but I kind of like it. I kind of like that they did this link between the two. Unfortunately, if you came for railgun footage, that was it. I put it at the start in case that's all you came for, but uh, I'm going to show you some general footage now of the maps. I literally couldn't get any more footage of, of the railgun. It spawns every five minutes on a 64-player server. There's ten people either camping where that is, or, or camping where the little shooty MAV thing is. The shooty MAV is at the A flag, like literally where I'm flying right now. So a lot of literalists. There must be literally a lot of things going on in this map. And, <laughs> and uh, you'll be able to see on the mini-map, right now, almost directly above me is where the railgun spawns. So that's next to the C flag. It's like next to a big a big steam duct on, uh, on, on the ground above this. Because this is an underground bunker where all the titans were made this here and the revolution is the roof falling in you can destroy the roof and then it kind of lands and you can survive it i love how it looks with all this smoke and things that, that gradually clear it's really cool this it actually makes me a bit sad that battlefield 4 isn't as tactical as the older ones used to be i don't think i've been playing a lot of counter-strike recently but it you know, wouldn't it be cool if you could sort of and there's one of the titans wouldn't it be cool if you could like just blow in the roof as part of your objective and then you had to repel in down to the Rap Rappel or whatever it's called. R I bet that's why they've de they've delayed uh, Battlefield Hardline, by the way, to put Rappelin in. I hope it is, because that's not coming out till March now. Uh, which usually they try and compete with Call of Duty around September, well, around October, November time, but uh, they're delaying it now. Because of course you couldn't repel in that before. You could zip line places and you could throw up a grappling hook, but you couldn't actually like go down the side of a skyscraper and and repel in through the windows. If you're wondering how to play these maps, they're on the community test environment, uh, which you need Battlefield Premium and to be on PC because they can't do it on Xbox and PlayStation 4 because Sony and Microsoft have to approve for that, and obviously they charge for that approval. So they, an incredible amount actually, to be able to put things up on on PlayStation 4 and, and Xbox. So they're only able to do this on PC, but you can play on there. And there's one map a day. So, and it seems to change around 5.30 p.m. Uh, UK time, which is GMT plus one at the moment. So, if you get in before that, it'll be, at the moment, Giants of Corellia is still on. But by the time this video is up, it will probably have switched to either Hangar 21 or Hammerhead, which are the two last maps. This is Whiteout. We're in a submarine here, calling in the bomber, which I thought was quite a nice touch. I do prefer this map, though, to the previous one. If you've got a bright monitor... You might want to turn it down, or you're probably going to get snow blindness, but that is a lot of JDAPs for one guy, right there. He's in pieces everywhere! But, uh, you can see the scrub cannon firing across the map. The bomber is fairly useless, as it always has been, because it doesn't really go over anybody anywhere that's that populated, so you do tend to just get individual kills. 
But as I say, the evolution on this is a snowstorm that blows across the map. This is at the start of a round, probably this footage here. Uh, so the, the, the snowstorm kind of, it rolls in like the standstorm on Gulf of Omen does. Which I really like because it removes from the fact that 64-man conquest is just a massive headless chicken race most of the time. And because teammates generally follow what they can see in front of them. And if the only thing they can see in front of them in all the blizzard is you, it actually forces kind of teamwork on people. That thing is going to get nerfed, the SC-42. It has been dubbed the Scrub Cannon at the moment, it, it would seem, in the Battlefield community. Um, because it's it's actually called a Metal Storm in real life. That was an incredibly unlucky spawn for that guy. Um, and this guy's on it here. It literally, I don't know if you heard about the, the, the Metal Storm, but it fires like thousand million rounds per second. Probably not that many, but it fires a lot. It, you should watch a video on YouTube on it. It's, it's quite incredible. Like, nothing would be left if you shot somebody with a metal stone, but at the moment, it's meant to kind of act like a shotgun, but it basically just one hits anything at any distance at the moment. It's actually awesome. <laughs> it's so much fun. I kind of hope they just leave it as it is at the moment, because people will learn not to run into the cone of fire of these things, I think. But this poor snowmobile, he didn't know what hit him. And then... <laughs> I don't know why he sucked it towards me there, but... Oh, where they went to. I think they suddenly got abducted by some alien spaceship, those poor two guys. But you can literally shoot a tank across the map with it. Not actually shoot a tank, but actually turn it into a tank gun. Like, if a tank's next to you, you can blast that thing across the map with the SC at the moment. As for other guns, like HDLC was, I think, supposed to come with five weapons. At the moment, you don't have access to those in this. I'm not sure if there are going to be five new infantry weapons or not because final stand dlc doesn't come out until november december i don't think or it's been delayed so i think it's been delayed to fill in the space between that and, and battlefield hardline but thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in the next chapter